Today, we're gonna to look at how to increase storage space within your LXC container by mounting an external storage device. I previously did a video on how to install Frigate within a, uh, an LXC container. That used a NAS to store all of the videos. However, some folks don't have access to a NAS and maybe they wanna set up a, a Jellyfin server or a Plex server or even do the Frigate server where they can have their network video recording stored on a local device. So this will work perfectly for that. We're gonna go ahead and mount the uh, drive to your LXC container. You'll be able to in instantly increase your storage capacity and we'll go ahead and walk through all of it right now. To start out, we'll go over to our Proxmox node. In my case, it's called PVE. We'll go down to disks and we'll see all the disks that are on our system. Now, the initial disk that we have here, this is the one that gets installed and partitioned automatically for you whenever you install uh, Proxmox. The one I have connected is this one here. It's a USB drive. You can do this with a USB drive, an internal drive. It really doesn't matter. So what we're gonna do here is if you have any partitions on it, we're gonna wanna wipe it. So you'll click on it, hit wipe disk. If you don't have partitions, you can go ahead and start with it, but just know that everything on here is going to get uh, erased. So you don't wanna be doing this on a disk that you're, you have other things stored on. So we'll go ahead and move down to ZFS and we'll say create ZFS. I'm gonna call this data since we're just gonna be storing data on it. Um, it's a single disk. If you have multiple disks, you can easily go in here and say something like a mirror disk. So you can have two one terabyte drives or two 500 gig drives, whatever you, works for you. I'm just doing one drive here and I'll select that drive here. I'll leave the compression and everything else the same and hit create. So that'll go out and create the, uh, the ZFS for us. And now that it's done, we can see that it's set up here. We've got a one terabyte uh, size. And if we look over here to the left under our Proxmox node, we've got the data. But now we need to connect this in to our uh, Ubuntu drive or our Ubuntu server and go ahead and have that be able to be used. So if we click on the LXC here, click twice, and we go ahead and log in. The login for this one is going to be root. Okay, now that we're logged in, we're gonna go ahead and create a mount point for this. That's just a directory. I'm gonna call it uh, data, just so we'll keep consistent with what we have already. So I'll say mkdir slash data. And now if we look at that drive, if we type df minus h slash data, that's gonna tell us how much space is available. So if you look at it right now, we've only got 15 gigs available to it, which is why we need more space. So 15 gigs is not a lot. That's what we defaulted to when, when the server was set up. So let's go ahead and connect that uh, mount point in. To do that, we're gonna go back to our Proxmox node. We'll click on the shell. You can also SSH and do this if you, if you prefer. And we'll type in the following command. The command is pct set 100, 100 being the ID of your LXC uh, container over here, dash MP0, the number zero, not the letter zero, the letter O, slash data, which is the, uh, the mount pointer or the drive over here that we wanna connect in, and then MP equals slash data. So that's the mount point internal to the LXC. We'll go ahead and hit return, and that's all there is to it. Now, if we go over to, again, back to our Proxmox node, or our rather our LXC, and we type the same command we did, you'll see now that we have 900 gigs attached to that same partition or that same drive. So now if you go to the slash data, you've got a full terabyte of storage. So that's a quick and easy way for you to expand your storage on an LXC container. So if you were using the video that I had before where uh, Frigate was set up and you didn't have enough storage, you can get yourself a nice easy USB drive, plug it into the side, uh, go ahead and mount that up and now you can record directly to a USB external drive or even an internally mounted drive and not have to worry about uh, running out of any storage space. So I hope you found this useful. I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.